CEO Ronald Hickler from Creating the Difference. I want to talk to you about some things you may not know about reactive and urethane bowling balls. So I've actually got some bowling balls here. This is actually a plastic bowling ball. Uh, but these two bowling balls here are both urethane. And what's interesting is this urethane ball is 40 plus years old, and this urethane ball is four years old. And both these bowling balls are gonna exhibit the same kind of behavior as they age. They're not going to change uh, very much at all. Now, conversely speaking, both of these bowling balls are reactive, and they're roughly three to four years old apiece. And what's interesting is you can see this ball is already cracked, and obviously that ball hasn't cracked. This bowling ball specifically is actually a combination of both urethane, and reactive. And what I wanted to kind of do is show you something that's kind of interesting and unique uh, about uh, urethane and reactive. So one of the things that's interesting is, is reactive balls actually shrink as they age. So to kind of prove that point, I've got a micrometer here, and I'm actually gonna mic both the urethane section of the bowling ball and the reactive section to be able to show you the difference in size. But if I rub my hand over it, I can automatically feel there's a pretty big difference. So we're gonna start by first measuring the reactive, or the urethane side, which is this gold band. We're gonna go and put the micrometer on one side, line it up, and then we're gonna use the other side, like so, until we find just what the diameter is. Right there is the diameter, and that is 8.564 inches. So the bowling ball has an 8.564 diameter in the urethane side. Now, conversely, we'll switch over here and we're gonna do the same thing on the reactive side to be able to find out what that is. So we'll go right here. We'll go in, and I mean immediately, I can tell immediately I've gotta to begin to really roll this thing in. So we're gonna roll this in. And this bowling ball uh, was made in the 90s. This is just a good way to be able to show you kind of how uh, much a bowling ball can shrink. So this diameter is 8.524 inches. So 8.524 inches in the reactive side versus the urethane side. And really what's happening is, is the reactive side, um, as it's curing, it continues to shrink. The urethane doesn't do that, so it stays about the same size as it was uh, initially. And that's one of the big differences between true urethane and reactive. I wanna throw one more point out there too. If you look at that, this bowling ball right here, one of the unique things about this bowling ball is you don't really see these bowling balls cracking, whereas you do see other bowling balls cracking. And I don't mean manufacturers or brands, I just mean bowling balls in general. But one of the reasons that makes these bowling balls different in terms of their ability and why they will crack, one will crack and one will crack and one won't, is because of how thick that shell is. So this is actually the core, and you can see how, this is the core, this is actually the shell. You can see how thick the shell is of this bowling ball. The thicker this shell, the more resistant this ball is to cracking. Conversely speaking, this would be like the thickness of the shell of this bowling ball, which is much thinner. And because it's much thinner, it can be more prone to cracking. So now you've got a little more information about kind of what makes bowling balls more prone to crack. You also now have a little better understanding of why it's important to remember that a reactive ball in general is going to shrink and going to get smaller, and that's gonna also help to make this cracking issue even more of a potential problem, especially the thinner the shell is. The thicker shell bowling ball is going to be able to hold up longer, but conversely speaking, the thicker shell bowling ball is also gonna shrink a little bit more. Well, now you got some more information. Hopefully that's helpful. If you like this video, hit us like, give us a subscribe. We do a lot of educational content on this channel, and it's really meant to help you, the bowler, make better decisions and have more information. On behalf of Creating the Difference, I am CEO Ronald Hicklin. Talk to you soon. Thank you.